be platforms. I wonder just how many bits of old Hornby platforms are there in the world? I'm sure many of us as modellers have got bags and bags of this stuff. And if you're just starting out in modelling, then these are great. They're relatively cheap. In fact, I've picked up most of these from my model store for 50p each. They join together really easily um, and they're simple and can be great fun. But what if you want to make something that's just a little bit more interesting and looks a little bit more realistic? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Slater's plastic card to cover the platforms and make them look a little bit more realistic. So these are the four pieces that are going to make up my platform. It's quite a short little platform, but it's all I need for my layout. And these are second hand pieces. So you can see that they're a bit yellowed, there's a chip missing off the end, and they do look pretty drab. But we're going to make these look amazing. First of all, what I do is make a template. So here I sellotaped some bits of cardboard together and my template fits the inside of the platform. So as you can see, little paved edges on the side of the platform I've left. Now what I'll do is I'll paint them up, but I think they add quite a nice effect. So this plastic card I'm going to put on top is just to cover the grey insert. Now I've got my template, I can choose the covering. Now this is Slater's plastic card. This is WO 4mm paving slabs. But of course you can use anything to suit the era of your particular layout. Now this is quite cheap, it's only a, a couple of pounds for a few sheets. And what I'm going to do is simply Cut it out and then we'll take a look at how to paint it. Now you can see that the platform is longer than the plastic card so I am going to have to make a join but don't worry about that, uh, we can make that invisible with a bit of paint. So first of all just check the plastic card to make sure that it's clean and it doesn't have any sticky bits on it uh, or any dust. I found there's no need to prime it. Um, I use acrylic paints and it seems to take quite well. So I have a variety of acrylic paints here. Here are just two normal craft paints. And these are from the Hobbycraft store in England. Uh, just a couple of colours which are a taupe and a powder grey. I've also got a couple of Vallejo colours here that I like to use. One is Iraqi sand and the other is an ochre. And then the final colour, this one's an ammo one, this is just called Old Wood. What I found is if you just paint this in one colour, it just lacks any depth. It doesn't really look any better than the original Hornby platforms in the first place. So the technique that I've tried and seem, seems to work for me is by applying each of the colours one at a time and using an old sponge. Let each colour dry before you go on and add the next. Because if you look closely at platforms, they're never one colour and this allows you to bring in lots of different shades. So all I do is use an old sponge from the kitchen, just pull a bit off. and then just start to dab on the colours. And again, the trick is not to use too much paint at once. And just go lightly all over the plastic card. So as you can see here, 
it's just a light amount let that dry and then I go for another colour so now I'm going to add the second colour this is the top as you can see we're just starting to build up the colours gradually let that one dry with the third colour added. So this is with four colours. I'm just going to put a little bit more ochre onto it as the final colour. Here's the finished effect. I'm going to let that dry and then go on to the next stage. Once the paint is dry, what I do is get some of this flexible grout, which is a powder. These come in lots of different colours. These are from B&Q and this one is beige. And all I simply do is sprinkle the grout powder all over the platform. And I do this just as I've done the last layer of paint, so it's still damp. Then using a big brush, you can also use a makeup brush if you just happen to have one of those handy. And I simply brush the grout around and stipple it a bit all over the plastic card. Now at this stage, it's going to look pretty dreadful. Just leave it to dry and it will be transformed. So here you can see the grout's dried. I've brushed off all of the excess and now I've glued it onto the platform. I've also painted the platform sides a sort of brick colour, put a wash, um, a black wash, just to finish that off. And I've just started adding an edge to it and colouring in the paving slab different colours of greys and browns. And here's the finished effect. I think that's a much nicer look than the old Hornby platform. So here's a test fit under the station. I think it makes it look really good. Now time to glue it down. <laughs> 